That's nice. Yes. Applause. Nice. They must not be able to see me. They're, they're planted. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and MMO fanatics of indeterminate gender, rejoice. G4 TV's E305 Live, presented by Jeep, is here. Massive Gaming Expo E3 has officially opened its doors, and we're overwhelmed with game previews, big announcements, and fanboy pheromones. With me, of course, is a man so twitchy, he makes WarioWare feel like a David Lean film. Attack of the Shows, Kevin oh. Herrera. Thank you, thank you, Adam. Now, uh, you know, we've been touting this year's E3 as the greatest ever, and I don't say that lightly. Like, you know, at lunch when I had the best bag of Cheetos ever. Oh! It was good. They were, they were yeah. good. But come on, seriously. Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Nintendo Revolution. Now, the only thing that could make this cooler is if Bill Gates and his army of Gates bots burn Los Angeles to the ground. Ooh, That'd be like pretty that. sweet. Oh, and speaking of scorching, X plays Morgan Webb is here as well. Oh, comparing me to the wholesale destruction of an entire city, I'm flattered. So much going on, and this is only day one. Luckily, E305 Live and IGN.com will be your source for all E3 information for the rest of the week. Tune in for our two-hour live reports, like this one, Ta -da. every night at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Then go to IGN.com anytime for continuous updates. Now, before we wade out into the show floor, let's first start with some basics. Dun -dun. Now, for gamers, E3 is like having the Super Bowl play in your own backyard on Christmas Day. And there's s'mores. Yay! Yay! It's three days of semi-controlled chaos that will see tens of thousands of people stampeding booths for that oh-so-sweet first taste of what the industry will be serving up in the next couple of years. And when you're talking E3, industry is the key word. More than 400 exhibitors from over 80 countries will be showing off their goods. You've got venture capitalists, importers, exporters, financial analysts, developers, and of course, the press. And all of them are making their silent and not so silent judgments about where they're going to be spending their time and their money. That's right, and here at the heart of this electronic nirvana is of course, all these shiny new game systems and software that makes them hum. More than one thousand games will be unveiled this week and shown to the public for the very first time. To say nothing of the ten brand new consoles, hundreds of peripherals, and mountains of ridiculous crap that you still for some reason need to own, this should give you some idea why E3 is by far the gaming industry's biggest event. And this one is amazing. And, it is, and you know, really it's the big. gaming industry's loudest event. Like going down on the show yeah. floor, they have competing yeah. speakers going. Everyone's trying to prove that their, may, their game may not be the best, but it's definitely the loudest. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and then there's that voice thing where you had that scratchy by Friday. There'll, there'll, there'll be that husky Debbie Moore sound will be coming out of us. But it is very I, exciting. People are lined up to play all the different video games. Yeah. And, it's interesting, some of them have shorter lines, some of them have longer lines. I just don't pay attention to them. I pretty much push <laughs> them out of the way no and play. No You're a good person. All. Yeah. A good all person. All right, if you missed our in-depth coverage of all the big E3 press conferences announcements, that was yesterday, <laughs> and if you missed it, shame on you. We sat through hours of pulse-pounding flow charts and mind-blowing PowerPoint presentations to bring you the launch of the next console cycle. So, here's our roundup of all the big news from the big three. Has there ever been a more important E3? Probably not. With three console unveilings in as many press conferences, there's no shortage of hype and dash dreams. Sony hit the ground running with its show on Monday afternoon. We weren't expecting much from the PlayStation 3 before the show, but boy, we were wrong. Sony completely spilled the beans on its next console, leaving many scraping their jaws up off the floor. The PS3 can do just about anything with style, music, video, an online service to rival Xbox Live, and of course, games. There was no shortage of those. Sony showed some stuff that still has people wondering if it's real. And with backwards compatibility down to the original PlayStation, it will have a healthy library out of the gate when it ships next spring. The big question, how much will it cost? Microsoft's press conference followed directly afterwards, where it unveiled the backwards compatible Xbox 360. After all the internet leaks and overproduced TV specials, there really wasn't much left to the imagination. Microsoft is really concentrating on the next evolution of Xbox Live that it hopes will snare one billion users when all is said and done. Yes, one billion users. How? Making custom clothing, of course. The Xbox 360, just like the PlayStation 3, will converge all kinds of media together into one box. And the games? Well, they haven't blown us away like the PlayStation 3 stuff has. But some of them are looking mighty fine. 
Nintendo's press conference brought up the rear on Tuesday, where the grandfather of the industry finally lifted the curtain on its next console, the Revolution. Well, kind of. Nintendo showed the console's casing, and sadly, that's about it. Nintendo did say that the Revolution will be able to download and play every Nintendo console game ever created, which is pretty sweet. The huge crux of Nintendo's presentation was the DS and its wireless capabilities, with games like Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. Maybe Nintendo's latest handheld will have a healthy lifespan after all. Nintendo also showed a miniature version of the Game Boy Advance called the Game Boy Micro. And of course, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, which is looking as good as ever. Who won? Who lost? Well, let's say this. Both Nintendo and Microsoft will have their work cut out for them if they want to compete with computing behemoth that is PlayStation 3. But first, Sony continues to stoke the flames of their rivalry with Microsoft. We're talking giant robots, cowboys, and women who actually listen when you talk to them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Here are some big titles coming up for the PS3. PlayStation 3 is a powerful machine under the hood. But what about the games? Let me give you an example of a technical demonstration our dedicated team has put together. Okay. You're ready? Yes, let's go. Where is he? Time is running out. Hurry! Let's switch to our plan. Roger. We'll go in, but keep an eye on us, okay? So I've been working on um, Fight Night since the beginning of the franchise. And I just can't tell you like how exciting it is as a developer to finally have the technology in our hands to build the Fight Night game that we've been looking to build all these years. forward to on the PlayStation 3 is being able to take advantage of the cell's raw horsepower to create more sophisticated physics, to uh, control hundreds of characters on screen, each of which is controlled by its own AI system. I think the cell signals the convergence of mainstream entertainment and games that everyone has been talking about for the last 10 years.
I think what we're most looking forward to uh, creating in a PlayStation 3 game is a truly realized, truly immersive, living, breathing world. We really know that we're going to be able to go to the next level in terms of realistic simulations and realistic immersions combined with incredible narrative, incredible storytelling, and those two components combined are what are going to create the experiences of the future. Hey, this is Scott Rubin from G4TV.com. If I have to think back to some of these memories that you know, really still stick with me after all these years, it would have to be getting out to E3 and meeting the people who are actually at home watching G4, but we didn't think anyone was watching. In this home, a family grows. Children learn and play. Bonds are built. But before it was a house, it was a detailed drawing on a plan. The bachelor degree program in construction management in the School of Drafting and Design at ITT Technical Institute offers educational opportunities that can help students prepare for challenging and rewarding careers in the construction industry. There's a demand for individuals with knowledge and skills to manage construction projects. The construction industry needs professionals who can oversee construction projects in accordance with the plans and specifications. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of many, this dream became a home. There are still many more to be built. ITT Technical Institute School of Drafting and Design. Education for the future. To find out more, call 1-800-372-4052 or visit us on the web. A J.G. Wentworth success story. Felicia and the annuity. A few years ago, I inherited an annuity from my grandfather. I started receiving monthly payments from his insurance company. Then everything seemed to happen at once. Felicia's employer moved to another state and she was left unemployed. Your money starts to go pretty fast when there's no cash coming in. J.G. Wentworth knows that a big change in life circumstances can change how you look at your annuity. I heard about J.G. Wentworth through TV ads. If you have an annuity that is no longer serving your needs and you need cash now, call J.G. Wentworth. You'll get a free appraisal and have all your questions answered. Don't wait. The sooner you call, the faster you'll have your money. Call now. J.G. Wentworth helped me and they made it really easy. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call 866-433-9717. 866-433-9717. I enjoyed getting the matches, waking up in the morning and, you know, going to my inbox and it was like a scratch off lottery ticket is the way I described it with Amory and I. We both were like, I was so excited when I saw your profile. You know, I wanted to kind of get to that communication. It was just easy. Everything just flowed. It was almost like we knew each other, but we just hadn't seen each other. Amory is the absolute best. I mean... As long as I have her, that's it. <laughs> Log on and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com How would you like to run a business of your own from the comfort of your own home? Be your own boss, set your own hours, and make great money. It's not as crazy as it sounds. Last year, I made over $100,000 a year from my home. I just made a down payment for our vacation home, working part-time. We gave up our jobs. People thought we were crazy. <laughs> and we took in over a quarter of a million dollars in our first year. Yeah, you have to be crazy to visit this website and find out how to start your home business. Crazy like a fox. There are thousands of opportunities for you, full or part-time. Live the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. The secret is in this success kit. To get yours, log on now. Next year, my goal is a half million dollars. I made $5,000 yesterday. We've made enough to spend winter in Hawaii. Crazy? I don't think so. Log on now to get your success kit. Wow, that was a big one. <laughs> that was a doozy. How long you been out here? Uh, about seven years. Yeah, 11 for me. Okay. Hollywood, it's a, it's a beast. You, know, you got to pay your dues in Hollywood. You know, sometimes people give me flack, you know, because of the vomit. But I look at it like this. At the end of the day, I'm on television, and they're not. Oh, Amen. Yeah.
Now, whether you're excited about the Xbox 360 <laughs> or just too weak to take your old Xbox off the shelf, Microsoft has new games for their Black Behemoth and the Sleek 360. They're all out there on the show floor. Take a look. Here we are. This is it. This is the Microsoft booth here at E3. It's where the house that Gates built is showing off the successor to the Xbox. It's the Xbox 360. Now, Microsoft knows the console is up against some stiff competition in the form of the PlayStation 3, but they're counting on the success of Xbox Live and a few key exclusives to really save the day. Now, depending upon your point of view, the Xbox 360 is either a slick piece of modern art design or a dead ringer for George Jetson's toaster. Now the wireless controller is standard, and now Xbox Live will be an integral part of everything you do with the system. From music, to movies, to sports, everything will be available at the touch of a single button. The Xbox Live Marketplace features a bunch of ways to customize your Xbox 360 experience. This even includes the ability to design corporate logo branded apparel that other people can buy and download and then put on their in-game characters. That's right, folks. Microsoft wants you to pay for the in-game advertising now. But don't worry. Don't worry. It's a feature. In the weeks leading up to E3, it seemed like Perfect Dark Zero was going to be the flagship title, but now it's gone conspicuously missing. In its place is another rare game. It's called Cameo Elements of Power. This game has gone from the GameCube to the Xbox, and now it's on the Xbox 360. I mean, that's it's got to be some kind of record. You'll play as Cameo, an elf who can shapeshift into various creatures. Now she's trying to save her land from some nasty invading trolls, and what's being shown is much more expansive than any of the previous versions, with large battlefields containing dozens of enemies. Surprising no one, Dead or Alive Forest popped up as a launch title, and, well, it looks pretty much the same as DOA always does. <laughs> Nice backgrounds and five-year-old gameplay. Ninja Gaiden 2, where are you? Project Gotham Racing 3 is in the works as well. Now, details are sketchy, but we do know that it will feature a spectator mode so you can watch races, and tournaments will be held with grand prizes of up to a million dollars. Now, is this the beginning of professional Xbox Live players? A boy can dream. One of the big aces Microsoft still has up its sleeve is Hironobu Sakaguchi's Mist Walker Studios. Sakaguchi created Final Fantasy, and now he's working on an RPG for the Xbox 360 called Lost Odyssey. It's the story of a thousand-year-old man who can't die, and the clash between magic and technology that is ripping the world apart. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to see Halo with the launch of the Xbox 360, and so far, the most impressive title we've seen, well, it's not a launch title either. However, with that said, this title does have a chance to be just as big and just as important as Microsoft's trademark shooter. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gears of War by Epic Studios. It's a tactical shooter with some serious horror elements that pits a dying human race against terrifying monsters risen from the deep underground. And yes, it will have online play, and even better, online co-op. Now you may be wondering, but Kevin, what does Microsoft have for the Xbox that I already own? Well, that's a good question, and here's your answer. It's Conquer, live and reloaded. This is the only first-party title that Microsoft is showing off here at E3. Now, don't worry, there's tons of third-party support, but the big MS is focused squarely on the next generation. You know what? That's a good thing, considering the battle that Xbox 360 has against the PlayStation 3. You know, E3 is all about new games and celebrity sightings. And right now we have a couple of celebrities on the set with us, Sean and Marlon Wayans. Oh. Not Adam and Kevin. <laughs> How, are you guys? How are you guys liking E3? It's insane. Yeah. It really crazy. is. It's, it's overload. You guys play games yourselves? Oh, yeah. That's all. I, well, I play a lot more. Sean's got a bunch of 80s games. I play games. 80s games. Yeah. I'm like straight out of the 80s. I got Miss <laughs> Pac-Man. I got Donkey Kong. I got... Elevator action. You like all those games oh, that yeah. never end. I'm like a video game crackhead. I, whatever you got, I'm going to play it. I don't no, care. No, 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 no. Actually, the games that never end is that John Madden football. No, yeah. John Madden football ends. SOCOM don't end. You can SOCOM, play you literally got to go get you some, uh, you some U.S. Move. Marines you gotta and, move and, and shoot people. You got to move out the place you're playing in order to end it. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, what, do you, what did you guys bring for us today? You have a game of your own. Yeah. But it's a trading card game. Uh, it already looks better than the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh card games that are out there. I don't know if you guys play those. Oh, thank but you. I'm about to get killed by fanboys, so um, <laughs> thank you. please protect me well, when they come up here in an angry mob. It's, it's Pokemon, but kind of, it's, it's Jokemon. It's basically, yeah. it's, it's, it's jokes. Called, it's, it's called, called the, the Dozens. dozens and, uh -huh. you know, it's, it's your mama jokes on cards. And so we got, you know, funny animation to go along with it. And uh -huh. you play, that you know, kind of like the game War. Okay. You go back and forth, and who tells the funniest mama joke on the card wins, and it's rated. Right, and okay. there's also a cell phone game as well. But you don't have to make up the joke. The joke's on the card for you. The joke's so, on so the card for you. So I don't have to actually be funny so at all. Hey, yeah, yeah, throw one out there. Throw one out there. Go for it. Uh, your mama's so... I already messed it up. Come on, it's try to go for it. Come on, come on. Your mama's feet so ugly when she takes off her shoes, it looks like she's throwing up gang signs. Look right, at that. Funny. Now that's funny. That was pathetic. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, mama... everybody. I'm no, sorry. No, that was, that was funny. That was okay. good. But your okay. mama's breath so stink, they consider her mouth a weapon of mass destruction. Well, you I'm already win on it. You already win on it. Now the cards are out. Um, it comes out June 1st, uh, okay. exclusively at Blockbuster, yep. June 1st. So nice. you can get the cards. And, and the uh, bonus mobile game uh, is available. Uh, just go to www.dozensonline and pick it up. And it comes with good gum. That's it right. comes with good gum yeah. for free? Yeah, and the gum is soft. It doesn't cut up, cut up the roof of your mouth. Yeah, it ain't like wow. that razor blade you know. they get you. It's, this is actually good good gum. Well, I'm going to have this, and uh, thanks for stopping by, no guys. Problem. Really no problem. Really appreciate it. Thanks right. for having Thank us. You. Thank you. Thank you so thanks much. For us. Now, uh, shift your position on the futon slightly, but don't get up, because later we have a demo of Unreal Tournament 2007. Yes, it came from the future to be on our show, and to kill John Connor, of course. Plus, the oft-remixed but never imitated Cliffy B is here with Gears of War and Unreal Engine 3. It makes the violence pretty. G4 and E3 2005 present Seduced by Science with your host, Talisca Fernley, GED. I'm standing outside the E3 2005, where we are trembling with sensual excitement at the discovery of an entirely new species of Homo sapien. This is a species that could only be gestated here in the warm, humid womb of E3. I'm coming, my elusive treasure. The only known footage of this elusive creature was done by a Scandinavian team who found one swag starved outside of an Engage conference in Stockholm. Behold, Gnerdus ginormicus. Nonverbal, savage and unpredictable. It exists only to gather that which is more precious to its being than air. Gratis detritus. To the layman, swag. Valueless, really. And yet, the Gnerd cannot live without it. The hunt is on. A trap has been set with extremely rare swag. To Gnerd, it's like eating a seed from the hand of God. And the trap is sprung. Now it's time to fix the tracking device. Hold him steady. So it only hurt a little bit. You now. From here, we can track the Gnerd's every move. <laughs> Sensual. Our tracking device has revealed this to be a nexus of Gnerd activity. Let us see what happens when two of the species interact or in the midst of their swag gathering rituals. <laughs> oh. Sensuality. We cannot judge their cruelty. Their laws are their own, handed down by instinct. I now know the only way for me to truly study them is to get close. I must become Gnerd. I knew from watching Animal Planet that the watering hole was nature's great meeting place. It was there that I would become Gnerd. It was then I understood the liberating freedom of Gnerd. Gnerd showed me the complexity of nothing. Nothing but the soulless, cold touch of a hollow marketing ploy. E3 will soon be over. He will return to hibernate in the cold subterranean recesses of some dark suburban basement. God, I love that sound. Old, 
old school system has to be the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, because it was the last time my father would actually play video games with me. And by play video games with me, I mean come home from the bar and want to play Duck Hunt for money. Then he'd wake up the next day and find 20 bucks missing and have no clue where it went. Unleash your inner rock star, the Aerosmith way. Guitar Hero Aerosmith, rated T. I am so beautiful. Good to see you again. It's slipping! It's slipping! Oh, stupid tongues. Excuse me, boys, what are you drinking? We're drinking Coke. No, no you're not. It says Coke Zero on the bottle. Do you know why we don't like you, eyeball? Why? Because you are a big, fat liar. <gasps> I am not fat. I'm not. Real Coke taste. Zero calories. I was an intelligence analyst in the U.S. Army. Warrant officer with the 18th Airborne Corps. 82nd Airborne. Green Beret. 91 Echo. Dental assistant. Chemical officer. And I served in Iraq. The Army taught me how to be a team player. To be decisive. I learned how to be a leader. To be strong mentally. And emotionally. As it turns out, camouflage is a great way to get noticed. 150 careers in the strength America's top employers are looking for. I am Army strong. I am Army strong. Huh? See what it's like at GoArmy.com. Opportunities are everywhere. Be ready with new pocket size axe bullet. We are a very close family. Me and my mom are like best friends. I have a degree in computer drafting. When we went to ITT Tech and we saw the drafting program, I just thought this would be her place. And it was a great school because it was a lot of hands-on. Uh, my mom was the one that helped me decide to go to ITT Tech. One evening we were coming home, we happened to be driving by, and I just pulled in the parking lot and said, let's go see what they have to offer. And I started the next day. The teachers, they were very nice, very friendly. Like, if you needed to stay for a while and needed help with your work, they'd help you. My passion is coaching girls ice hockey. That was another big thing. I had time to do things that I enjoyed while going to school. And then at graduation, they gave us a rose to give to the person that influenced you the most. So I gave it to my mom. Really, if it wasn't for her pushing me to go, I'd, <laughs> I probably would have still been at home. <laughs> I'm extremely proud of you. It's been a wonderful experience to watch you grow and become a real woman. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052. From the producers of Batman Begins and The Dark Knight, six interlocking stories, six celebrated directors, one groundbreaking masterpiece. It's over. Batman Gotham Knight, now on DVD and Blu-ray. You're a safe driver. Isn't it about time you got paid for being one? Only Allstate will send you an actual bonus check worth up to 5% of your premium every six months you go without an accident. Call an Allstate agent now or 866-ALLSTATE so you can get the rewards you deserve. This is not the time to wish you had accident forgiveness. Now is the time to get accident forgiveness from Allstate. Starting the day you sign up, your rates won't go up just because you have an accident, even if it's your fault. Call 866-ALLSTATE before you drive again. This is not the time to wish you had better insurance. You don't have to skimp on quality protection with Allstate. In fact, drivers who switched from GEICO to Allstate saved an average of 27%. That's an average of $518 a year. And you don't have to wait for your current policy to expire. Call 866-ALLSTATE. Can you afford not to be in good hands? Introducing a bold new take on reality TV. You're gonna love it, even if you pretend you don't. Pearl starts Tuesday night at 9, only on G4. In five days, it's E308 Live. Next Gen is here, but who will shape the future? G4 hits the floor to find out. With live daily news updates, over 30 live hands-on demos. Including Gears of War 2, Fallout 3, Resident Evil 5. Plus, the Big 3 press conference is brought to you commercial free. E308 Live. Week long coverage starts Monday at 1, only on G4. We're coming to you live from the convention floor where the gamers are, in many cases, literally frothing at the mouth over the sheer amount of mind blowing stuff on display. 
Either that or the Frappuccinos have gone rancid. Yeah. I'm Morgan Webb, and with me is a man who's like kryptonite to booth babes, Kevin Barrera. Uh, no, you mean, of course, the, the red kryptonite, which makes the girls act a little crazy, right, huh? Score one for Pereira. God, you're only making it worse. All right, all right. Now, yesterday we talked to luminaries and ran with nerds, and we even touched the 360. Well, guess what? We're topping it today. That's right, I said it. Back me up, Adam Sessler. Well, you know, the last time I blindly Please. backed you, I ended up with two teeth knocked out and a night in the Tijuana jail. I never thanked you for you're it. You're it was welcome. really, really it's, good. It's good times. All right, good time. today we'll be strapping on welders masks to get deep inside the PlayStation 3. And then. Eccentric Nintendo genius A.G. Anuma will storm our booth, bringing a little something called Zelda with him. Oh, nice. We love Zelda. But first, do good things really come in threes, or is it celebrity deaths? Well, Sony's betting on the former, because ever since their big pre-E3 press conference, the convention has been buzzing about the PlayStation 3. Being the skeptic that I am, I had to check it out for myself. Here at E3 2005, Sony is featuring a return to many popular franchises. Focus! They may be sequels, but these games are bringing something new to the table. For instance, Naughty Dog is bringing back Jack, but they've completely left the platform hopping behind and dropped its hero behind the wheel of a racing game. But Jack X Combat Racing is more than just a minigame gone prime time. You get all the features you'd expect, dozens of tracks, customizable cars, different racing modes, and more. Like any good racer, there's also a number of multiplayer modes to choose from. You'll be able to race split screen with your friends, and then go online and be humiliated by 10-year-olds. The fourth installment of the Ratchet & Clank series takes the zany franchise in a different direction as well. Ratchet Deadlock takes the online deathmatching elements of the previous game and makes it the focus. The new Ratchet game also includes a split-screen co-op mode, so you can invite a friend over for some cheapening. Sucker Punch is showing off the newest installment in the best, and only, Sneaky Raccoon series in existence. In slide 3, the gameplay looks to be much the same as the previous two, with a slightly bigger cast of teammates to choose from. And if you get tired of creeping around all by yourself, Slide 3 has both co-op and competitive multiplayer modes. Oh, and also, it's in 3D. That's right, Sucker Punch is finding the time to build a special 3D mode for the game. So get those red and blue lenses ready. Despite so many sequels making an appearance, the standout game for the PS2 is something entirely new. Shadow of the Colossus is being created by the team that made Eco. It's here and it's playable for the first time. Aside from being one of the best looking games to appear on the PlayStation 2, Shadow of the Colossus promises to be one of the most original titles for any system. You and your horse have to seek out the many temples hidden throughout the huge world and defeat the temple guardians when you find them. But actually defeating the guardians is a lot more complex and fun than it might seem. Definitely keep a keen eye on Shadow of the Colossus. You may have heard about Sony's recent addition to the PlayStation family, the little bundle of joy I like to call the PSP. Well, EA definitely has, and it has more than a few titles that show off the power of the little guy. We love Burnout, and Burnout Legends on the PSP is probably one of our most anticipated games for the system. It was inevitable that EA would want to bring its successful racing series to the PSP, and so far the translation is looking ace. Well, that's it for Sony this year, thanks for watching. What's that? The PS what? Oh right, that thing. Unless you've been living under a rock, then you're aware that Sony is releasing the new PS3. Well, if you have been living under a rock, well then let me introduce you to your new life. A new life full of beautiful, beautiful games. Now the PS3 isn't coming out for most likely more than a year, but the Sony booth brings us hope. Keeping us all sane is Jeff Keighley, who caught up with Sony's Jack Tretton earlier today to discuss, well, what else? The 800-pound gorilla in the room called the PS3. You can't come to E3 with something like the PlayStation 3 under your arm and not expect to attract massive attention and naturally some hardball questions. Well, luckily, the executive vice president of Sony Computer Entertainment America, Jack Tretton, is not the kind of guy who's going to shy away from that kind of pressure. 
So joining us now is Jack. Jack, how are you? Good, Jeff. Good to see you. So you are having such a great week, I think. You know, the PlayStation 3 unveiling just wowed people earlier in the week. Uh, why do you think people responded so positively to what you showed for PS3? Well, I look at it as 20 years in this industry has gone by so incredibly fast. Technology moves so quickly in this business, but really the last nine months has been what I consider to be the perfect wave, you know, the renaissance, a time that we'll never uh, see again in that we uh, announced the redesigned PlayStation 2 and, and shipped that out to market. And we expected to attract a lot of consumers with that, uh, but given the fact that we were already in one in four U.S. households, we were kind of going after the few people who hadn't jumped on board. Right. We were thrilled to see that a lot of PlayStation 2 owners went back to buy the redesigned PlayStation 2. They loved that so much. And we haven't been able to catch up with demand with that ever since. Even though we've been out there for five holiday seasons, yeah. we just can't seem to catch up with demand with PlayStation 2. Then you have the PSP debut just seven short weeks ago, generating $400 million in sales at retail in six short weeks. And then we follow that up with the right. PS3 press announcement. So the pretty exciting and Why do you think period. people were so blown away by what they saw? I mean, was it just, you know, do you, because your competitors are talking about how they think, you know, the next generation is starting this year with the Xbox 360. You guys have sort of a different view, I think, right? Uh, no question about it. I think the next generation begins when we say it does. I mean, uh, it's, it's all about delivering a quantum leap in technology. And I think if you look back to the original PlayStation and what people were experiencing on 16-bit machines, when they saw the original PlayStation, their jaw dropped. And everybody says, well, this is as good as it gets, myself included, right. man. We'll never see technology like this. How can you top this? Right, but Five years later, PlayStation 2 yeah. drops everybody's jaw. So I guess the point I was trying to make is, quantum leap in technology, the most naive consumer could look at that and go, right. my God, this is just I was, I was impressed, but you know, one thing that Microsoft's focused on is software and services with their Xbox Live. A lot of people have been asking, you know, what Sony is going to do with their online strategy. You guys talked a little bit about an idea called PlayStation World. Are you guys going to have sort of a unified online strategy coming forward? Because Microsoft is saying, you know, that's going to be one of their big competitive advantages. What's your response to that? I think our motto is under promise and over deliver. So online gaming for console gamers is kind of a new experience. You know, you're talking about 30 million plus consumers playing in North America on PlayStation 2, but really only a couple of million people that can consider themselves online gamers. So right. it's still in its infancy stages, but I think the difference is we haven't forced people initially to be a broadband player, they could be an analog player. We right. haven't forced people to subscribe to a service, so we really want to spoon feed it to them in the way that they want to get it. Right. We don't want to force a publisher to get on yeah. with a with a mass service. We just that's, don't think that's, that's a the way to go. smart plan. Now you guys showed some great demos for PS3. One of them that I really liked was a new game from Insomnia. The Ratchet and Clank guys now have this sort of interesting first person shooter, sort of looks like a mix between Half-Life 2, Call of Duty. Tell me about sort of that idea of you know putting a team like Insomniac which is used to doing sort of these almost you know kiddie games onto something that looks very mature. What was the decision behind that? Well Ted Price is absolutely a genius and his team over there has done an incredible job and we've been fortunate to work exclusively with those guys back to the original PlayStation. As you said mm -hmm. they brought the Spyro franchise to us there and they brought Ratchet and Clank but I guess the little known secret is that's the type of game that Ted's always wanted to do. Right. And uh, he feels that this is the right canvas to paint it on so we're really excited what his team's going to bring for uh, PS3. Right. Now, I know there were some other demos that were shown there. There was Killzone. A lot of people were excited about that. People were wondering, though, you know, was some of the stuff real? Was it CGI? It looked so good. I mean, what was the what was the sense from you? Is, is there some stuff in there that's just, you know, computer smoke and mirrors? It's definitely real. I guess we're pretty good at keeping secrets because the dev kits were out there. The dev kits are very intuitive, so people did some incredible things. And that's one thing Ted wanted to make sure everybody understood. That is right. real gameplay everybody's seeing out there. Uh, right. And I think the other advantage... So it is have, gameplay. All that stuff it is all gameplay? gameplay. And I, I mean, beyond great gameplay, I think we have the opportunity to tap into worldwide development resources. Because when you mentioned something like Killzone, that's right. from our sister company over in Europe. It looked pretty amazing, though. I was impressed. Now, you guys are doing PS3 stuff, but you're also keeping development on PS2 for first party. I wanted to ask you about that strategy, because Microsoft has abandoned their first party Xbox development. Are we going to see, I mean, a lot more PS2 games coming from first party, new franchises? No question about it. We proved with the original PlayStation, this is a 10-year product life cycle, and the two platforms can coexist nicely together. We're going to sell a lot more PS2s after PS3 debuts, and the key is bringing good content. That's what drives hardware sales. And if you have compelling first-party content, you can know that you can differentiate your platform from your competition. So we really believe first-party development resources is the key to success. That's amazing. Well, I can't wait to hear more about PS3. Hopefully there'll be more news soon. Oh, absolutely. Excellent. Stay All right, well, tuned. thanks, Jack. Now, here's Adam with what's coming up on the show, and maybe, just maybe, your local forecast? It's hot. How about that? There are people out there who make it their life's work to sell you stuff. We're going to take a moment to admire their art. Look who's here. It's Kevin Pereira, and he's taking your questions. 
you think professional gaming is something that will ever catch fire? I think the answer is unequivocally yes, uh, but not, not anytime soon. Um, while everybody likes to play games, the problem uh, lies that in, in the fact that most people don't like watching uh, games being played. Um, we need a game that, that doesn't need to be explained uh, at length. Your teeth are a living part of your body. And over time, the enamel begins to weaken from the inside. But now you can help rebuild your teeth. New Trident Extra Care, the only gum with Recaldin, a unique form of calcium that penetrates into and strengthens tooth enamel. Trident Extra Care, chew strong. I mean, sure, I help people save money on car insurance, but few folks know that I support wildlife conservation too. Are you gonna eat all those? Well, you are, aren't you? You're just gonna go to town. All right, well, I'll make this quick. I'm teaming up with the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. I'm gonna be making the rounds to get the word out. Are those clams? I love clams. Do you uh, want to offer me any? Ah, uh, apparently not. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. This is one of those places where you look and the computers that the students are using and the software that they're using are the same ones that they're using in the industry. They can walk right from these softwares and these computers into a computer company with ease. I often have students come to me and say, oh, I stayed up you know, two nights in a row trying to finish my final project. And I say, that's what you do in the real world. Everybody works together and you work until it's done. Make your passion your profession. Welcome to Expression College for Digital Arts. Here at The Phone Company, you've been our customer for a long time. Now Vonage wants to change all that. Well, over two million people have already joined Vonage. Oh, really? Don't they miss having phone service? Actually, with Vonage, you get the number one rated digital phone service with unlimited local and long distance calls. And now, for a limited time, you can get Vonage for just $9.95 per month for the first three months. That's right, just $9.95 for three months. What do you charge? <laughs> It's simple, really. It starts with different basic rates, long distance fees, and of course, different packages have different features. And some, fe well, uh, actually, I got some charts back in my office. So I could Vonage has over 25 features, and they're included for no extra charge. All this for just $9.95 per month for three months. One low rate with savings up to $300 a year. Can your phone service do that? <laughs> Don't take my word for it. Listen to his former customers. For me, Vonage is everything I want in a phone service. It's dependable. It's perfect. No nickels and dimes uh, like the phone company. No hidden fees, no sticker shock when you get your bill each month. I have no complaints. I'm like, woohoo! Okay, so Vonage has great service at a great price, but making a change is hard. And for over 100 years, the only thing we've changed is... Your prices? Get Vonage for only $9.95 per month for the first three months. Enjoy clear digital phone sound quality using your high-speed internet connection. And setting up Vonage is easy. Or if you don't have time, we can come to your house and do it for you. And with Vonage, you get to keep your number for life. At Vonage, you'll always talk to a real person, no matter when you call. But what happens if you try to reach those guys after hours? You have reached us after business hours. But your call is very important to us. Please call Brooke. Goodbye. <laughs> Call 1-800-576-9691. That's 1-800-576-9691 or go online to startvonage.com. Carl Conrad, the coolest geek in the world. As a child, he won a mint copy of Action Comics 1 and a knife fight with a monkey. He once showed up to school driving the Batmobile. No one ever learned where it came from. He made love to three different women while waiting in line to see the return of the king. Carl will be watching G4's coverage of Comic-Con Await Live with exclusive interviews and the hottest news on TV, films, and comics. If the coolest geek in the world is watching, shouldn't you? Comic-Con Await Live, July 24th and 25th. You're plugged into G4 Rewind. Capcom can do cute, like, say, Mega Man, or they can do scary, like, say, Resident Evil 4. So you can imagine the trepidation G4TV.com's Laura Foy must have felt heading into such unpredictable territory. Will, will she face ravenous zombies or androgynous children in blue armor? Let's find out. All right, so I learned two important things at the Capcom booth here today. A, don't abandon your old games while you develop new games, and the reps around here don't like to be called Capcommunists at all. 
As announced at the Sony press conference a couple days ago, Capcom is busting out the frilly shirts and the hair gel with Devil May Cry 4. It's Dante's first foray into the next-gen territory on the PS3. Demons, guns, swords, make that cell processor earn its keep. KG Inafune, the legend behind games like Mega Man and Onimusha, has dead rising flung its way onto the Xbox 360. You play as a photojournalist on the hunt for the next big scoop, snapping pictures of emaciated undead creatures who devour the flesh of those younger than them. Basically, your Hollywood paparazzi. Now, no release date has been given yet, but we're told it will be out sooner than we expect. I don't know. I expect pretty early. Now, while information on many next-gen titles is still pretty slim, the minds behind Steel Battalion and Beautiful Joe are dropping Okami, a fusion of Japanese folklore and stunning Japanese art that promises to be very Japanese. You play as the wolf on a quest to return the world to its former glory by painting the colors back in. As the world grows with power, you'll be able to interact with the world by literally painting an action on screen. So if you're looking for something new, something fun, and something beautiful, check out Okami on store shelves this month. So Capcom tried to pull a fast one by announcing that Onimusha 3 was the last in the series, but surprise, it's Onimusha Dawn of Dreams. A departure from previous games in this series. Gone are the main characters based on real life actors and pre-rendered backgrounds. This time it's full on 3D with a controllable camera. Onimushi is also introducing a new feature called the Ally System, which allows players to switch between the main character and their partner in real time. The player can also command their partner to wave, attack, or defend, which adds a new element to the gameplay. Capcom is also preparing Resident Evil 4 for the PS2. I guess to satisfy the Resident Evil fanboys who refuse to buy a GameCube. Pretty much the same game, just on the PlayStation 2. Anyway, it's scheduled for release in late 2005. You can die. Finally, Killer7 is making its way to the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube. You'll assume the consciousness of Harnan Smith and seven of his alter egos. At any time during the gameplay, you can switch into any of the other characters. It's really trippy visuals and it's a bizarre concept. I got a chance to play it. It's a little slow and it's kind of like a point and click adventure, but you should definitely check it out when it ships in June. Something very bad is going to happen here. So, as you can see, Capcom's got a pretty impressive lineup this year, and while you take all that in, I'm going to go play some more Okami. We're sorry, folks, but even with a two-hour live show, we just don't have the time to cover everything as thoroughly as we'd like to. Now, this is not a slight to these games, but here's a quick rundown of some titles that you may not have heard a lot about on the show, but you sure as hell will be hearing a lot about very soon. I guess Fiddy got tired of hanging out in the club with the bottles of dub because he's brought his bullet-riddled ass to video games. Yes, you heard right, folks. 50 Cent's Bulletproof has all the cliches you'd expect from a hip-hoppy game. Guns, thugs, martial arts, unicorn summoning, and of course, Fiddy himself. He's hardcore. He's no wankster. We'll see if we can say the same about Bulletproof, his game. All right, let's say it together. Say hello to my little friend. All right. It's a Scarface, the world is yours. The movie that spawned a million hip-hop moguls enters the wonderful realm of video gameness. It's a single-player, third-person action adventure for those that like their games with just a tinge of quote-unquote product. Yes, product. <clears throat> and yes, Al Pacino is involved. You know what I'm talking about, you f***ing cockroach. So that's just a pinch of the games we found at E3 2005, but you want more. We know you do, and guess what? Gonna give it to you. All right, and with us now is the man himself, Mark Echo, to tell us more about getting up. Mark, welcome to the show. What's up, man? Good to see you. Thanks for Got having me. Got a chance me. to play the game down there. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you, man. It's tell been a lot of hard work, man. Now, what, what were you going for with this one? Um, it's a love letter to graffiti. You know, it's something, uh, a script I wrote about seven years ago, dusted it off about two and a half, three years ago, started shopping it to publishers. Everybody was like, what the hell is this guy that makes clothes? Think about making games. Yeah. Who did you think he is? Yeah. And, uh, you know, brought it to the table and we started getting we hooked up with Atari and uh, got busy. Right on. So uh, you, you said it has a very heavy anti-corporate theme to it. I mean, is it so <laughs> anti-corporate that maybe we'd even be, be tagging over Xbox or Sony logos? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> um, no, you know, it's just really trying to take the, kind of take the, take some of the air out of, um, you know, uh, kind of all the hypocrisy of consumer culture. 
you know, uh, graffiti is something that's been so, um, you know, kind of co-opted by the mainstream. You know, it, we see it in motion graphics in the media we consume. We see it in the products, the soft drinks that, that are solicited to us as young people, urban-minded, all across the world. It is the official language of sure. teenage angst. Adam is a consumer whore. He knows yeah. it. He knows it all. Yeah, no, yeah. No, I'm just a whore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You sorry. could say the W yeah, word. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. sure. So I was told it, not to curse because I got a slippery tongue. Ah, I got you. Got you. Uh, Anyhow, um, well, the one other question I had is, yeah. is there any violence in the game? One of the things that struck me is that there's so much violent stuff out on the shelf floor, and even though it's about tagging, yeah. is it, does violence have any role well, in it? Well, you know, it's really, I wanted to be representative of graffiti culture. You know, a graffiti artist wouldn't necessarily run around with a gun. You know, uh, um, it definitely has an outlaw kind of sensibility to it. I wanted to really reflect the whole... D you know, hold the whole graph experience from early subway culture. You know, the first act is really all underground, and right. it's all about the, uh, pretty much the New York and Philadelphia subway systems. And then he goes above crown, he go keeps going higher and higher and higher. Yeah, you know, we should talk later on this because the game does. You, well, you've seen it, and now I'm getting really into it. It's all. All right, we promise you those shiny cartoon trees and smiling asexual beasties only Nintendo can deliver. And we'll make good on that as soon as you take a pee break and wash up. Hey, sometimes you need to jumpstart that second wind. You know what I mean? I gotta pee. You just got served, by the way. You're plugged into G4 Rewind. Up next, X Play. I finished my questionnaire for eHarmony on September 6th, and I was matched up with Lee on October 2nd. And Marie and I we both were like, I was so excited when I saw your profile. I wanted to kind of get to that communication. Every eHarmony match is based on compatibility. That's why they're so special. And right now, you can go to eHarmony and review your matches absolutely free. Aren't you curious to see who you'd be matched with? Log on today and review your matches for free. eHarmony.com This Friday, the thrill ride of the summer I got a sunburn. begins. Yeah! <laughs> Journey to the center of the earth. Ready PG in Real D 3D in select theaters. Starts Friday. I have a structured settlement and I need cash now. Call J.G. Wentworth. Eight seven seven cash now. I have an annuity, but I need cash now. Call J G Wentworth. Eight seven seven cash now. Eight seven seven cash now. They help thousands. They'll help you too. One lump sum of cash they will pay to you. If you get long-term payments, but you need cash now. Call J G. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. 877 cash now. It's your money. Use it when you need it. Call JG Wentworth. 877 cash now. My name is Wilfredo Siliazar. Um, I'm a graduate from ITT Tech. Um, my name is Manuel Salazar. I also went to ITT Tech. We were the first two to actually uh, have a, a degree out of our entire family. I never thought my younger brother would made it this far. It's one of the biggest accomplishments of my life to graduate from school. Everything that he uh, put himself to do, he achieved it. After I saw that he was uh, doing great in his job, uh, making good money. Uh, I saw the need that he needed in education. I was going to some tough uh, Times. Yeah, I saw the type of work he was doing. He wasn't happy. Moved him in to my house, and uh, within a few weeks, he was already started in, in his path uh, to his new career. He started with nothing, and now he has everything. I'm proud of you. You know, we'll both take care of my dad. Thank you. You're welcome. We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-372-4052. Do you want to own a brand new HP, Dell, or other name brand computer and improve your credit at the same time? If so, Tronics Country says you're approved, guaranteed. I wanted a new computer, but I couldn't get financed. Then I called Tronics Country. They approved me, delivered my new computer, and are reporting on my credit. 
If you have an active checking account and can afford low flexible payments, you're already approved guaranteed for this special offer. There's no credit check, so you won't be turned down. Tronics Country approved me quickly. I got instant approval and it was easy. My flexible payment plans made it easy on my budget and my kids are getting ahead in school. I started my own business and now I'm my own boss. Call now and with your paid order, we'll add a free color printer, free MP3 music player, and free LCD TV. You heard right. Free printer, free MP3 player, and free LCD TV. Call now and tell us where you want your brand new computer and free gift shipped today. I'm glad I called. Masses. Oh, E3's doors have closed, and the final day of E305 Live, Live is off and running. Boy, it's been exhausting. I'm it Kevin Pereira, and next to me is charming Star Wars fangirl Morgan Webb. Darth Webb, give the people some exposition, will you? It is day three of the Electronic Entertainment Expo, the biggest annual event in the video game industry. Since Tuesday, we've been bringing you new games and next-gen demos. Oh, and we've been asking the big three questions they don't want to answer. Yes. Questions like, why does Adam Sessler follow me everywhere? Yeah, well, you know, it's because the microchips they implanted will, you know, they're, they're going to explode if we get too far apart. It's like total uh, recall. That explains it. Creepy. Yes, it is the final day of E3, and we saved the best for last. <laughs> Extreme! Well, tell me what it's all about, Chad. There's not a single title at this convention that truly goes balls to the wall and takes gaming to the max. These pantyways wouldn't know a good game if it came up, slapped them, and called them Susan. That's why, instead of bitching about it, like a little girl, I'm gonna make my own game. It's called Johnny's Extreme Adventure, and I'm gonna sell it today to the max. I'm Johnny Extreme. I'm here to pitch my new game to you. It's called Johnny's Extreme Adventure. You like the cover? That's good. That's me. I'm Johnny Extreme. Do you have any games that you consider to be in the genre of ass-kicking, ball-punching to the extreme games? Absolutely. Well, here's another one for you, but this is going to be the most ass-kickingest, ball-punchingest game you've ever played. Extreme? Yeah. Are you extreme enough for my game? Yeah. You ready for Johnny's Extreme Adventure? Yeah. All right. When you first start the game, you don't have any weapons, okay? Right. You just you just have your extreme power. Later on, you've got like a rocket launcher that shoots chainsaws. But the chainsaws explode. It's going to have katanas like wrapped all around like tape to it. Taking some melee combat, and then later you get nukes. But I can fly, so it's okay. You yeah, got like plastic on you. Yeah, originally the idea was there was going to be some, some Cleveland steamer stuff involved. It, it didn't work out so well. See this guy? I'm going to punch his balls off. Here we go. You know how some games have like a fire level and like an ice level? Yeah, with this game, it's going to like have them all at once, man. We're going to be doing it all at the same time, just constantly, just going over and over again. Like every three seconds, it's going to change. I don't want any cutscenes in the game, but if you want, we can have words flying out, like extreme and, and to the max. Yeah. How about superfluous? Or, or go the other way, just balls. What else? Johnny Extreme's on the most extreme game in E3. Now who wants a t-shirt? Give him a t-shirt. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking I might have a sidekick character. Do you want to be my sidekick? And he's going to be like half shark, half tiger, half gorilla. Call me later. We'll work you in somehow. You can be extreme, but not to the max. That's my deal. It's going to have replay value, too, because we're going to have these unlockables in it. But unlockables, they're not extreme enough, so we're going to call them unlockable balls. Lock a balls? Unlock a ball. Lock balls. Later on, there's going to be a part in the game where you lose all your extreme power and you have to do all these escort missions. But don't play that part of the game, though, because it sucks. It's, it's going to punch your balls off to the extreme. You know, at the end of it, you find the main dude, you punch him with the balls, you eat a sandwich, you hit the half pipe. That sounds pretty good. Yeah? Let's go talk about it. We're going to go talk yeah. about it? Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> you know what's going to be rated? Extreme. Get extreme. <laughs> oh, so here's your big news of E3 2006 right now. Johnny's Extreme Adventure. Everybody who's heard about it went to double digits in their pants. It's going to fly off the shelves like hams in a fat camp. So get your balls to the mall and pick it up to the extreme. All right, folks, it's been a pleasure. And uh, you know what? There's really no one I would have 
the one I would have rather hosted with, I gotta be honest. Oh, please, you are not gonna cry. Oh, oh. big attack in the show, boy's gonna cry. Oh, and oh, 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 you got tear? You got tear? You got a tear? Good night! Yeah. Yeah. Today on X Play.